Hey guys, Max Happy Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Snakewood. So this is going to be a little bit of a different episode. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit shorter than most of the episodes because I am actually only going to do a battle with these three people that you see now, and then I'm going to have to end the episode off there because I don't have enough time. Basically, um, I had to train a whole bunch off screen. Um, because I wasn't able to defeat these people with the levels that I had so I thought I would get everybody around level 40 and I also had to take a team member away in order to get here to these people in the first place so I decided to take Claydol out because Claydol is psychic type and um, this person that we're going to battle actually only has dark type Pokemon so this is the reason why I have not been able to continue Snakewood, because of these people. And um, I'm not going to talk for these people because I did that in the last episode. So if you want to know what they're saying, you can go to the last episode. But basically to sum it up, the girl on the left is Alicia. She was supposed to be our friend, but turns out she is not. She's a traitor, and her name is actually War. And she's decided that she thinks she's going to beat us. And she wants to battle us. So I needed Breloom because she has a dark type Pokemon that um, is very scary. And I did not want to deal with it. And she likes to protect Stahl with this Sableye as well. So that's one of the reasons why I had the super speed do that. Because of that freaking protecting Sableye. So basically um, all my training was done by getting defeated by these guys over and over again. Until I got to high enough level because um, the wild Pokemon in the grass were actually too low leveled and it was way too hard to level these guys up. So unfortunately I had to keep losing to these people so I probably don't have very much money left. But I mean there's not very much I can do about that. Um, my whole goal here is basically to just keep, keep Ninetales around definitely and keep Breloom around just for her one big dark type that's going to be pretty hurtful to us. So what I'm going to do right now is actually, since we're getting the good damage with the burn and the confusion, I'm going to do a super potion up nine tails. That way if Sableye does hit me, it'll bring me back down and not bring me any worse than I am now. Plus the burn and the confusion damage is really going to be hurting at big time. So hopefully it will not go for a protect, which it did not, and this fire pump is going to take it out. Luckily Ninetales still has all of its HP, because so it's definitely going to need it. And that level gain is actually not bad. So we're going to switch now. This is the whole reason why I needed um, Breloom on the team, because of this Giga Wolf. As you guys will see, it is actually a um, Zoroark, and Zoroark is dark type. So fighting is super effective. But what I want to do first, since it's going to sword stance, is I definitely want to go ahead and get off if I can hit it a stun spore. That way I will definitely be faster than it. Because that sword stance will get its speed way up. So hopefully I'm still faster, and I am, and I can get the sky uppercut off. Um, because this is the only way I'm going to defeat it, is with sky uppercut. Mock punch maybe, but not after that sword stance. And we did just get really lucky there, because if that uh, Shadow Swipe would have hit us, we probably would have be wouldn't have survived it with the Sword Stance. But that's basically why I needed Breloom right there, was for the for the fighting type dis disadvantage that we have. Next is Weavile, and that's why I needed Nine Tails at full health, um, because we need Nine Tails for the Flamethrower or Flame Pump, whatever you want to call it, Fire Pump on this Weavile because its shadow swipes do a lot of damage to me so another one probably would have took taken me out if I didn't super potion up the first time so now I know this one won't take me out probably not even with a critical hit but this fire pump will take out the Weavile which is what we want don't want to take on that Weavile at all looks very scary and it looks like we're gonna have a bayonet now. So I believe bayonet. I know that. Hmm. I believe bayonet is just dark type. 
It might actually be Ghost. We'll find out. First things first, so I'll stun for it. Try and get that paralyze off. That way we definitely are stronger than or faster than it. And I'm hoping that um, this is gonna work. But if it probably won't, yeah. Figured bayonet was ghost and dark type, but I just wasn't too sure. We did get lucky though with the double paralyzed hacks. So I'm gonna send in uh, Raichu and get off some Thunderbolt damage. That should do pretty decent amount of damage. Three paralyzes in a row. That's really lucky. It's probably gonna be able to hit me this time, so gotta get off this Thunderbolt. It does a great amount of damage. And now it's gonna paralyze me, so we could be at a speed tie, but I believe Raichu is pretty fast, so. Hopefully we won't have some. No, we won't have any trouble. Bayonet is taken out. Awesome, awesome. And now I believe she's gonna bring out her nope, she's gonna bring out her dust clops. Okay. Uh who am I gonna bring out? I'm gonna bring out nine tails. Uh I'm going to confuse it. Hope it hits itself in confusion. Good. That's what I wanted. It's got leftovers. I'm gonna super potion to hope that it does it again. And if it does, I'm gonna get a Will-O-Wisp off. It does. Awesome. Now I'm gonna get a Will-O-Wisp off on it. And that should do double damage. Snap out of confusion and toxics me. So basically, I'm gonna confuse you again then. And since uh, Nine Tails is probably gonna go down, so I'm gonna just go ahead and go for it and go for uh, Fire Pump, and you're gonna protect. All right, thanks, buddy. That's nice. And I ran out. All right, let's try and confuse it. Protect failed, but our last confuse ray is going to hit. Luckily, Nine Tails did something. Nine Tails was basically our star for this battle. Um, other than Breloom, which we needed for that level 44 Giga Wolf. So we got the confusion off. And we got the uh, burn off. Great job, Nine Tails. So I'm gonna send in. Hmm. I'm gonna send in Quill Shark. And we're just gonna go for some surfs. And hopefully take out this Dust Clops. Uh, they're very bulky, so I don't know. Unless it hits itself, we shouldn't... Yeah. We're probably not going to be able to... That was a critical hit, though, so... That was not too bad. And we do have leftovers, which is helping us, but he does too. But with the burn damage, um, that shouldn't be too bad. Should bring it right back down where it was. Mm-hmm. It's not confused anymore, though. And it's going to protect, of course. Protect stalling once again. But with the burn, it's going to bring it down enough to where I can hit it with a surf and take it out. So she should only have one more left. And if it's the one that I'm thinking of, yeah. I'm going to stay in because I know this thing. I know what this thing wants to do. And I know that if it does do it, that I'm bright. Basically, my quill shark is dead anyway, so don't have anything to lose and it got off what it wanted basically the Gengar was just going to try to hypnosis me so it can dream eater me and that will be super effective on Quill Shark because it is part poison so we're gonna have to go ahead and Quill Shark's gonna have to take one for the team but that's all right apparently this one is being stupid though and wants to go for Shadow Ball don't know why but whatever so the reason why I haven't been playing Snakewood, as you can see, is because of this battle here. Every time I would face this girl, it was just... Oh, it was so tough. And I just had to come up with a strategy in order to beat her, and... That strategy just so happens to be... This one. Trying to keep everybody alive for as long as possible. Sludge bomb. That's gonna hurt me a lot, but I can't get poisoned because I'm already paralyzed. Luckily. I wish I could get a paralyze off on Gengar, but I don't think it'll have any physical type moves. So, if we can live the sludge bomb here and break paralysis, then we should be good. But we didn't. So, unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. 
maybe, maybe this will work. You shadow ball. Mmm, that's probably gonna hurt bad. Yeah, it's gonna be bad, and we're not gonna outspeed. Alright, you're gonna have to take one for the team too, aren't you? You did good, my friend. Oh, wow. Chaos of- what the heck was that? Oh my gosh, Raichu. Okay, well apparently Raichu was holding something to allow it to hang on, and it broke through paralysis and defeated the Gengar. Wow. I am loving you right now. I am loving you right now, Raichu. MVP right there. MVP. You. You. Why, I'll shred. Fools. You seek to claim what we do not need. What? We're, we're expanding. It's natural, dear death. We need to... Silence. You are not intended to interfere with the workings of the human world. For this transgression, you shall be punished. For now, return. No! I am completely impartial. I come to all in the end. My brothers and sisters are transcendent, weak, and corruptible. I do not desi have desires. However, I have one more task. You are a part of their plan. You must be eliminated. Uh, wait. Um, bye. Alrighty, so we avoided death, but we landed, I don't know where, on some strange looking boat ship type thingy. And we have a team, uh, whatchamacallit person here, and he doesn't want anyone to know that he's here. So unfortunately, we can't tell anyone anyway. So we're just going to take a seat here in this chair, and we're going to save here, and end the episode off here. Um, so, let me see, actually, first, if Raichu still has that. It does. It has a Chaos of Odin. Hmm. Apparently, it'll let us hang on in battle, and we could actually win it. So, lucky for me, I have one of those. Anyway, we're gonna end the episode off here, you guys. Sorry if it was a little bit short, but I am a little short on time today, and I didn't have too much time to record. I will see you guys, though, in the next episode of Pokemon Snakewood.